Hello there, my name is Vaid Akhavan and I am one of the applications engineers here at Novacentrics. Today we will be demonstrating how we are going to print a conductive trace on uh, fabrics for wearable applications. So the first step is to choose your fabric and I highly recommend using a clothing iron to work out any creases or, um, or bends that might be in the fabric for better facilitating the printing step. Once the fabric is ready, we can dispense the ink onto the, onto the uh, screen. So, uh, I you personally use a tongue depressor. I um, would give a kind of a mixing motion to the ink just to make sure that we have a uniform coverage. Spends a sufficient quantity of the ink onto the screen. Depending on your pattern, you might need to put more or less ink to cover the full pattern. Here we have a 14 inch by 14 inch uh, 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 screen, so we're going to need relatively large quantities of the ink to cover the full pattern. But um, you don't want to over flood your pattern at the same time. So the first step in printing is the flooding step. So take your squeegee and um, softly pull the ink across your pattern. That should flood your pattern. Then you can take the fabric that you're going to print, spread it uniformly. under the printing step. We're going to bring the screen down, make contact. There is a space between the screen and the fabric and I have placed these uh, very small spacers here at the four corners to facilitate that. We're going to then take the screen, we're going to push relatively hard on the screen and pull it across once. I usually with fabrics do a double print where I will flood once more and I will print once more. And that gives me a sufficient quantity of the ink on the t-shirt. I can get the correct pattern. Uh, to prevent uh, clogging up the screen while you're waiting I suggest that you uh, keep the screen flooded. You can put the squeegee to the side and you can take a look at the print, the pattern that we just printed. To print, uh, once the screen has been flooded, you can again place this down on the screen. And again, there's a very small space between the screen and the pattern. Um, you can push relatively hard on the screen, print. And for fabric applications, I like to have sufficient quantity of the ink on, this, on the fabric, so I re-flood and I print once more. That's your pattern.